Connection powers our lives. We wish we were there with the guys. I miss you so much. Oh, I miss you too. Edge Cloud Computing makes that connection possible. Are you guys ready? Zenlayer is the number one edge cloud services provider in emerging markets. With over 180 points of presence in 35 countries and command centers on both sides of the world, we now connect over 85% of the planet's internet population in under 25 milliseconds, faster than human perception. But what do we really do? Hi. Hi. I'm Alex. I'm Leroy. I'm Jennifer. I'm Steven. And I'm a Zen player. We solve the problems others haven't. If your users want low latency for real-time interactive experiences, we accelerate your applications through our Edge Cloud platform. <laughs> we do that. If you want to capitalize on the explosive growth of emerging markets, we extend your reach to Asia, India, South America, and beyond, deploying applications as close to your users as possible, instantly. We do that too. And if you need to deploy a customized solution anywhere in the world, we build it just for you. We solve problems like these. It's sports time. Because we are 100% committed to improve the digital experience for every organization and person in a better connected world. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Zenlayer Accelerate 2021. I am Zenlayer's MC, Stephen Din. Thank you all so much for joining us today, virtually, of course, from all over the world. We have a really great launch event prepared for you guys with an all-star lineup of speakers. First off, you'll be hearing from Zenlayer founder and CEO, Joe Zhu, as he takes a look back on why Zenlayer was founded and where we are today, as well as introducing our newest product, ZGA, Zenlayer Global Accelerator. Secondly, I'll join you again for a brief moment as I introduce Zenlayer CPO, David Shi. David will take you through a deeper look into ZGA and challenges that it solves and how to get started. Then I'll come back up and introduce Zenlayer's head of sales operations, Han Lei, who will share customer and partner perspectives and discuss future engagement opportunities along with our exciting launch offer. Now here's the really cool part. If you have any questions at all during our event, we have subject matter experts available to answer your burning questions. So feel free to ask them in the chat or the Q&A boxes. Our experts and or speakers will be able to get to you in real time. At the end of the event, stay tuned for some virtual networking opportunities in the lounge area. This lounge is awesome. We have virtual tables set up for you to speak with our experts and our speakers. So all you have to do is go to the lounge, find yourself a virtual table that you like, and join in on some great discussions. But without further ado, I'll go ahead and get the show on the road. First off, I'd like to introduce Zenlayer founder and CEO, Joe Zhu. Joe is a telecommunications professional with over 20 years of experience in the Asia Pacific region. Joe has always been passionate about the exchange of ideas and commerce between Asia and the rest of the world. Prior to founding Zenlayer in 2014, Joe was the SBP of global business in China Cash, where he built a global business unit of China's largest CDM provider. Please welcome the one and only Zenlayer founder and CEO, Joe Zhu. Joe? Thank you, Steve. Good morning and welcome. I'm so glad that you can join us today. Right now, I'm actually in Zenlayer's Shanghai office, having got a, just got out of the quarantine. This is the third time I have traveled globally since the pandemic began. Each time I had to quarantine for at least two weeks in a random hotel where Wi-Fi quality was just as random. During each of the three quarantine period, my only connections to the outside world are my cell phone. And it hit home more than ever how important fast, reliable network are to my quality of life. And this is why we build the layer, to make every digital experience better, whether it's a Zoom call, a fortnight battle, or simple online shopping trip. 
We envision a world where digital connections are frictionless and effortless, just like the air we breathe and the water runs downstream. Then, since 2014, Zen Layer has embarked on this quest to improve digital experience for every organization and person in the world by providing edge cloud services. At the core of digital experience is latency, the lag between where you request data and to show up determine how smooth interactive your experience will be. And that's what we focus on, to reduce network latency, improve application response time. The two major issues in latency are how fast data has to travel and how far the data has to travel. So how do we address that? We believe the best way to solve the first problem is to, to build edge cloud services all over the world. While edge cloud may mean different things to different people. For us, edge cloud means placing the compute networking infrastructure as close to the user as possible. So we can reduce the physical distance that data has to travel. As for today, we have deployed over 180 data centers in 37 countries. We have the wildest global coverage of any cloud service providers. Over two thirds of our pop hubs are in the emerging market, such as China, India, Indonesia, as a matter of fact, we are in every country in Southeast Asia, as well as Russia, Brazil, UAE, Nigeria, you name them. Because there are areas that are typical hardest to serve and where we can provide the most value. To solve the second problem, how fast the data has to travel we build a global SDN network that guarantees has no traffic congestion, consistently fast speed and zero packet loss. And as, as well as we extend our backbone to our end users through our IP network with over a thousand peers and the direct connections to the best local ISP in each region. On top of that is our secret sauce. We developed preparatory traffic engineering algorithm to optimize all data traveled through our networks. As a business, we have a big mission. But when we started, we really started with something small. When we started a company in 2014, we, we all started offering Edge data center service. As you can see, we build this company on one purpose to improve the digital experience. But we do that by step by step. 2014, Edge data center service. 2016, infrastructure as a service, which includes bare metal cloud and the cloud networking. And now we're ready to introduce our first ever platform as service product. It's called ZenLayer Global Accessorator. Now, but first, why pass and why now? If we take one step back, we had a long history working with large enterprise and internet companies. As a matter of fact, Today, we are serving three of the top social apps and the five of the top global gaming apps. And then we are empowering with our in infrastructure as service solution. However, not all companies have the resource, money, people, time 
to deploy their own infrastructure on a global scale. We see an increased number of media-sized business, as well as a hundred times small business. They also want to tap into the fast-growing internet regions and the internet economy in the world. We want to help them as well. So how do we enable the companies any size to instantly deliver great digital experience to anyone around the world? How do we put the power to the, at the fingertip all the developers and the DevOps professionals. That's why we are here. Please allow me to introduce ZenLayer Global Accelerator, or as we like to call it, ZGA, an API-driven network acceleration platform to improve application performance. With ZGA, you don't have to deploy or manage any infrastructure. You can accelerate any type of application, anytime, anywhere around the world, just with a simple API call. Who, who will benefit from this? In the last couple of months, we've been secretly testing our product with a beta launch. And the companies with many different industry has already start using that service and then benefit the best user experience. Gaming, companies like Mobile Legend, they have billions of users. Video conferencing, Zoom, Agola, online education, crypto cryptocurrency, manufacturing, Intel, logistic, Sunfone Express e-commerce company, and many, many more. With ZGA and ZenLayer's other edge cloud service, we do believe one day we can reach 90% of the world internet population in less than 10 milliseconds. And one day, we hope build an intelligent neural network that not only improves digital experience, but ultimately human life. Like we always said, better internet, better life. That's our goal. Thank you for attending. I will be at the launch and I'm looking forward to meet you guys over there. Thank you again. Now I'm going to pass the mic back to our host, Steven. Thank you so much, Joe. Thank you for taking us through that amazing section. And like Joe mentioned, if you want to pick Joe's brain a little bit more and get some more info on everything he's spoken about already, make sure you stop by the lounge after the session and find his table. Next up, we have Zenlayer's CPO, David Shi. David is the Chief Product Officer at Zenlayer, leading the Product Management and Development Organization. Before joining Zenlayer, David was Group Vice President of Digital Products at Gartner. While at Gartner, he held multiple leadership roles with responsibilities for product management, corporate strategy, data science, sales enablement, and digital transformation. Prior to Gartner, he also worked as a management consultant at McKinsey, an IT architect at OpenWave, and as a founder at a couple of startups. Please help me give a warm welcome to David Shi. David? Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Stephen, and uh, thanks all for joining us. We are very excited, as you can imagine, about the new product, ZGA. Uh, as Joe mentioned, it is a networking service that accelerates digital experience. So why is it a big deal? Why would you care about uh, acceleration of connections? Uh, let me start with three uh, examples. And I'm confident that uh, some of those examples will resonate with most of you. So the first one is a long-term client. This is a gaming company. Uh, they have been struggling with global gamer experience for quite some time. As we talked to their IT leaders to unpack the problem, uh, turned out to be that uh, they have 
two data centers to host all gaming servers, one in the States uh, and then the second one in Europe. So those servers handle things like user registration, authentication, uh, enable users to interact with each other and more. The company uses those two data centers to cover the gamers around the world, North America, EMEA, Asia, and so on. And because some gamers are physically far from those two data centers, uh, then latency, jitter, packet loss, all become problems. Regarding latency, it doesn't have to be super fast because they are SLG games, but it cannot be too slow. When the latency is over 150 milliseconds, it will take a very long time to load everything, and that hurts user experience. While this centralized infrastructure works good for gamers in some countries, especially uh, countries that are close to those two data centers, for the rest of the world, such as Southeast Asia, the company constantly receives complaints, and, they, and then they also see a higher churn rate, which they are confident is related to the latency and connection quality. As you can imagine, because gamers connect to those two data centers through the public internet, the public internet is neither fast nor reliable. Now, when the gamers are complaining, business leaders are pissed and putting pressure on IT to fix. To solve this problem though, they can, pro they can uh, probably deploy servers to those problematic countries. For example, through our bare metal cloud service. But that required them to make very significant changes to their application architecture, and then the cost and effort can both be very high. Tough situation. The second example uh, I love to share, uh, it's a biotech company. Uh, so a biotech company dealing with database access connection issue. So they have a database um, in the US East Coast. So their customers and partners from all over the world need to visit the, data, the database together with 20 other digital services. A good portion of the customers are from China. As you probably know, the cross-country public internet between China and US is pretty bad. So their users constantly run into connection issues, long page load time, lost connection, uh, substantially hurt the efficiency. They tried to obtain an ICP license to host locally in China, but failed. So they were left without any good options. So that's the second example. And then the third example, that I love to share, um, probably resonate with all, almost all of us, SMB, large enterprises, all of us. SaaS access for our worldwide employees. We recently talked to the CIO of a mid-sized business. Their headquarter is in the United States, but then they have large offices in China and Europe. As we talked to him to learn what application they have a uh, connection issue. He said, everything. So tell me everything. He then gave us a list. I'm only showing you a very small subset of the list. For example, the associates in China have connection issue with Microsoft Teams, with Salesforce and NetSuite. And then their US associates have issue connecting to the HR system hosted in China. So for many companies with associates worldwide, they all run into the same SaaS connection issue for their overseas employees. Slow, choppy, anything that uh, uh, you can imagine, but pretty bad. Now to quickly summarize the problem, the main problem that we are trying to solve is inconsistent digital experience for globally spreaded user base. That is caused by long distance and sometimes cross country connection through the unreliable public internet. Of course, like you can work with multiple solution providers, but then that can have high cost 
and then high, high effort. I talked about three examples, but they are not isolated cases. As a matter of fact, as we talk to many global companies, many of them suffer from the same problem. Some are not aware of the problems yet. Some are well aware of the problem, but struggle to solve. So as a former engineer, I like to believe that whenever there's a problem, there has to be a solution. But here in this case, there is no simple solution. And why is that, right? It's not easy to solve because a good solution needs to tackle uh, four important challenges. First, it needs to have a great global network cab coverage. The truth is um, many companies have global user base. And then of course, the solution needs to cover most of the regions, if not all. The solution also need to have good performance. Faster, of course, is always better than fast. Third, the solution needs to support many different applications, uh, layer seven HTTP, audio acceleration, video, layer four on TCP and more. And then lastly, the end-to-end -end provisioning process needs to be fast, instantly, ideally. When your users are complaining, you have to solve that right away before they get really frustrated and, and then leave. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's also hard to be instant. For example, uh, private backbone is usually a fast and reliable way to cover the world to sort of so solve the problem. But that takes a long time to set up. This is not something that most of the companies can afford, nor it is something that they have the expertise to deal with, when we, especially when we talk about a global scale. So how do we approach those four challenges? Well, first of all, over the years of being a leading edge service provider, we've built very extensive global infrastructure. On the chart, as you can see, the blue dots are our edge data centers. There are more than 180 of them and growing. That covers 85% of the world's population within a 25 millisecond latency range. So that's pretty good. The blue lines are only a subset of our private backbone network. So we have over 400 of them. Together, they carry over 20 terabits per second data traffic. So we are in a very good spot to leverage those for ZGA sometimes at a minimum marginal cost and takes no time to set up. So lucky us. Um, the second thing, right? So ZGA needs to have good performance. For that, we did a whole list of things to improve the performance. Uh, let me just mention two of them. The first one is intelligent NetFlow configuration at client level. As you can see from this uh, illustrative chart, from point A to point B, it needs to go through a three segment uh, links. Let, let me, uh, let's say that uh, one link has slow uh, performance, slower than expected, due to end user traffic burst. So when that happened, um, we, what we will do is uh, we will, um, our segment routing mechanism will automatically reroute the traffic to a better link to optimize the end-to-end -end user experience. So there are two capabilities needed to make this happen. Uh, first, the ability to dynamically update routing for a subset of traffic on a segment of route. So this is the so-called uh, segment routing. With uh, segment routing, uh, routing information moves from the transit nodes to the packet. So it is highly responsive to network changes, making it a lot more agile and then flexible than all other traffic engineering solutions. So it offers a higher quality of service. Second, as we need to optimize per client, but then also need to make sure we manage the network holistically, any manual mechanism at this scale just simply won't scale. We need more sophisticated mechanism to detect, predict, and react. So we leveraged 
bunch of machine learning mechanism to make decisions on rerouting to be on the fly. This is very similar to a uh, Google map changing your driving route based on traffic pattern to save your travel time. So Google does that to make your car travels fast. And then we do this to make your data travel fast. We also optimize protocols to make data transmission a lot more efficient. So we did, we did that through out the first mile, middle mile, and then last mile. So the first mile, as you, you may know, is between the origin server and uh, the entrance of our network, which we call a POP, point of presence. The middle mile is uh, our global backbone network. And then the last mile is the exit of our network and the end user, usually through a local ISP's transit network, 4G, 5G network. Um, so just to give you a few examples on what we did to optimize. So first of all, we um, optimize the TCP protocol. The truth is protocols such as TCP, they were created in the 1970s, so 50 years ago. Uh, and then they were not created with high efficiency in mind. Tons of packets sent back and forth just to handshake, not very efficient for transmitting a ton of data real time. So we updated the protocols to reduce the number of packets needed, thus improving the efficiency. The data also has to be secure. Data security, as a matter of fact, is a top criteria for most of our clients. So we added both data encryption as well as DDoS protection to protect both the data itself as well as the digital services. The middle mile uh, is usually the toughest to optimize, and but at the same time, it gives, in many cases, the best return for our effort. This is because it's much longer in terms of physical distance. As you know, uh, Joe also mentioned, distance leads to latency, as simple as that. And then it also invites congestion and jitter. So we optimize the middle mile by leveraging our global backbone infrastructure, added an overlay on top of that to do software-defined network management. And then on top of that, uh, machine learning and rule-based optimization to reroute to optimize for the best performance. The weak network optimization is something that we've been working on. Well, many of us enjoy the speed and low latency of 4G and 5G, there are areas in the world that the wireless network is still pretty slow. So we needed a way to handle that to ensure a decent use experience for those who don't have a fast wireless network. We'll need to support many applications, right? Today's enterprise architecture is complicated. It needs to transmit tons of data between users and servers through different protocols. Uh, so we, uh, we made sure the current version of ZGA supports a good amount of applications or protocols, and we will continue to extend our support to others. The goal is to be able to deal with uh, complicated scenarios, whereas you have multiple protocols at different networking layer. For example, layer four acceleration, such as TCP UDP, which covers majority of the scenarios. But then on top of that, layer four, uh, five, six acceleration, uh, such as SOX and then SSL, layer seven, uh, such as HTTP, RTP. So we want to support all of that. Uh, lastly, nobody wants to wait for a service to be read for months for a service to be ready. Uh, so we've been pushing hard to get the service instantly available for user to use on demand. So how do user get started? It's pretty straightforward. There are two ways to provision, either through a web console or through the API. Both are self-served. So if you go to the API, it should be pretty straightforward to leverage to fit that into your workflow. 
Or on the other hand, if you use the console, it takes more than uh, no more than a few minutes. And my colleague Han will unpack it in a few moments. So well, it sounds all great, but then how does it perform? The acceleration performance is pretty good. When we compare GTA against the public internet, it outperforms by a large margin. And um, also worth mentioning that the uh, GTA performance is fairly consistent. As you can see from the comparison chart, the public internet, which is the green line, the orange line, uh, sorry, is the orange line, uh, that has long latency, particularly at night during the peak hours. Loading a page can sometimes take 40 to 50 seconds. On the other hand, DGA, the green line, is always reliable with low latency, about you know, a second or two. This ensures a uh, consistent, good digital experience. DGA is a fairly versatile product that supports many different use cases. As Joe also mentioned, gaming, IoT, blockchain, office suite, and SaaS, online education, and live streaming, and e-commerce, and more. So uh, with that, uh, we'd love to hear your feedback so that uh, we can iteratively improve the DGA product so that more users can benefit. Uh, thanks a ton for your time. And uh, I'm now going to turn it back to uh, Stephen. Stephen? Thank you so much, David. David will also be available for you to speak with at the lounge after the session. Again, if you're listening and watching on this and you have some burning questions that on anything that's being talked about, please feel free to use the chats or Q&A boxes on the side and drop those questions in the chat. We will have someone get to you as soon as possible in real time. But our last speaker today is Han Lei, head of sales operations at Zenlayer, as well as Zenlayer's general counsel. Prior to joining the company, she was the chief financial officer and general counsel of Atlantis Computing. Han has also represented high technology companies in multi-billion dollar mergers and acquisitions, capital markets offerings, venture capital financings, and general corporate and securities matters in previous roles. Please join me in welcoming Han Lei. Han? Thanks so much, Steven. Hi, everyone. So glad you could join us today. In a few seconds, I'm going to show you some customer stories that share how some top international game developers and publishers use Zenlayer's Global Accelerator to instantly accelerate their applications to different parts of the world. And finally, I'll show you how easy it is to get started with ZGA and tell you about an exclusive launch offer. So let's start by taking a look at what customers and partners are saying about ZGA. In this series of videos, we will introduce you to three customers who participated in our beta launch earlier this year. The first customer testimonial is from Moonton, an international game developer and publisher, best no known for their MOBA, or multiplayer online battle arena game, Mobile Legends Bang Bang. The second video that we will show features GeoSwift, a leading cross-border payment provider. And in the last customer testimonial series is iShopShop, Shop, an interactive live streaming global marketplace that connects retailers and brands directly with cross-border shoppers. So these customers all have one thing in common, the need for an easy to deploy global application acceleration service. So let's play the video to learn more about how they benefited from ZGA. Hello, I'm Mao Di Jen, technical director of Moontang. Moontang was established in 2014 we own Mobile Legends Bang Bang, one of the most popular mobile games in Southeast Asia, Latin America, and the Middle East. We've been working closely with Zenlayer, whose products help increase our player experience and satisfaction levels. We're happy to cooperate with Zenlayer and hope that more international enterprises use ZGA to provide great digital experiences for their users. GeoSwift is a cross-border payment provider primarily serving merchants from mainland China. When merchants from mainland China try to access overseas services, they often experience excessive delays. After we chose ZGA, these delays were greatly reduced. 
We are grateful to Zenlayer for supporting our business services, and we wish Zenlayer the best of luck in the future. Hello everyone, my name is Zhang Jian, an architect at iShop Shops Inc. iShop Shops is a cross-border online shopping platform with physical stores in the United States. The company provides quality online shopping experiences for global users. Overseas users often encounter loading delays when visiting our website, leading to long wait times and poor experiences. Our overseas servers need to call the interfaces of a large number of domestic third-party services. Zenlayer customized the iShop Shops ZGA Dynamic Acceleration Solution based around our needs. This reduced the access delay to 400 milliseconds, exceeding our original goal, 500 milliseconds. ZGA greatly improved the user experience and increased customer satisfaction. Zenlayer also provided us with four layers of acceleration services for multi-domain IP reuse through ZGA. This enables iShop Shops to achieve customer delivery from only one IP, greatly reducing our operating costs and helping us conserve our resources. We expect a bright future for ZGA and look forward to deeper and broader cooperation with Zenlayer. Thanks! And that's the power of ZGA. With ZGA, you don't have to deploy or manage any infrastructure. You can accelerate any type of application to anywhere in the world with just a simple API call, just like our customers did in those videos. So we're going to go ahead and get started on um, showing you the ZGA console now. As you've heard from customers and partners about how beneficial it is to use ZGA to accelerate your applications, I'm going to show you now how easy it is to get started with ZGA. Right, the first step is to go to our website, www.zenlayer.com and navigate over to our product page and then over to ZGA. From there, you can click on the free trial button to access the self-service console. Once you get to the console screen, all you have to do is quickly register your account. So as you're filling out the information on the provisioning page, it'll ask you really simple questions like, what do you want to speed up? A domain or an IP address? It'll also ask you for your origin address, your origin region, and the regions where you want to accelerate your end user's access. You can even add in forwarding rules to set how the traffic will be routed for the acceleration. And once you have filled out this information, which should really only take a couple of minutes, just hit the deploy button. It is that quick and easy. Your service will be up and turned on in literal minutes and you and your end user will benefit from a super fast, low latency, reliable and secure digital experience. So as part of our exclusive offer with this ZGA launch, new customers can get a one month free trial of ZGA. We are so sure you will love ZGA that this one month free trial comes with no strings attached. So there's really no reason not to try it. Um, before I wrap up this session, though, and pass it back to Stephen, I'd like to welcome you to engage with us further in other events throughout the rest of the year. We will be at GDC, the Game Developers Conference, next week on July 22nd to discuss how ZGA can empower the gaming industry in particular. We'll also be at the Streaming Media Connect on August 25th to show you how we can help OTT providers reach a global audience. But wait, there's more. <laughs> I need to tell you about another exciting launch offer before I go. From now until October 1st, if you make the time to jump on the phone with us for a short 30 minute ZGA consultation, we will send you a $100 Amazon gift card. It's that simple. Learn about the application acceleration opportunities you didn't even know were possible, and then do some online shopping afterwards with your new gift card. Again, this offer is only valid until October 1st, 2021. So please make sure you don't wait too long and miss out. Well. That's it for me. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm going to wrap this up now and pass it back to Steven, but I hope some, to meet some of you in our virtual lounge in a little bit. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Steven. Thank you so much, Han. All right, you all saw how easy it is. Be sure to take advantage of that free trial and also that chance to win $100 in Amazon Cash. Thank you, Han, Joe, and David for a great session on ZGA today. We've had a wonderful session today, and I'm sure that after listening to all of this, you may have some burning questions about ZGA. If you haven't already chatted with our subject matter experts in the chat box, I would love to invite you to a more interactive Q&A session and experience for you all, which is located in the virtual lounge. Join us at the Zenlayer Lounge and speak directly 
to our speakers, including our CEO. So come and meet Joe, David, and Han, and let them help answer your questions in this virtual face-to-face. -face. You can also ask our engineers some questions and also meet our channel leads to chat about partnership opportunities. Any questions that you haven't been able to ask yet, this is the time. So head to the lounge, check out the tables, and have a seat and get to chatting. But thank you all so much for attending ZenLayer's first ZenLayer Accelerate 2021. If you have any questions or want to learn more about ZenLayer, reach out to our team at sales at zenlayer.com and visit our website at www.zenlayer.com. We hope to see you in the lounge and at our next events. Until next time, thank you so much.